Okay, so this is the code that you dropped into Python. Here we are essentially calling in Neo4j as a library. Um, here we're just defining the uh, connection to where our database is. Uh, this is just a driver that pulls in and is able to authenticate and log in. So this is where you put uh, the name of your database and the password that you used. Um, then we basically just need to create a function right here. Uh, the parameters of the function will have this TX. I don't understand the Y on the TX. And then uh, a name of some parameter that you'll pass into your cipher. Uh, this TX.run is the syntax that you need to actually run something. And then everything here is basically our cipher script. Uh, the cool piece here is, oh, sorry, this should actually have a second piece name here. Oh, I can't edit this. This should actually have two parameters, uh, one name, one friend. Uh, so there's a mistake here, but you can see here, this um, is how you actually are able to pass in this friend piece. Uh, and then in the back here, you're able to say that this parameter friend um, or sorry, that this parameter friend that you're calling in Cypher is equal to this parameter up here. There is missing a parameter that's name uh, that we see here and it's called here. But that's basically, this is the whole function for running the Cypher query. Um, and then here, if you're loading things from a local CSV is where you'd include a for statement. Uh, so for each line or row in my CSV, and then you can do this right transaction uh, and pass in the parameters, whatever they are from your CSV. And that's basically that.